strong individual makes a strong squad. Strong squad makes a strong team. Strong team wins games. They're eager. They just want to work. The worst thing we could do is not ask enough of them. So we're pushing and pushing and pushing, and every day they seem to impress me more and more, and so I'll keep pushing. That's just the way, in general, when life works. So hit the bar, good. Then we're going to move the bar a little higher. Family on the set, set. Family. 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 On the wheel, so you got 15 minutes. Get two on the rope. Oh, sit in there, pressure back, hit the boot. We're moving, we're moving. We don't walk anywhere. We don't like that. Come on. Come on, we can't make it hard enough on you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, mate. Come on, man. We're good, we're good, we're good. Get up, let's go! Get up, let's go! Coach Menon have a lot of the same philosophies on we're, we like to build and we like challenges. And, and I've started a small school. I played at Utah State and then I, was, I took over there. Um, so those those schools, I've always been at schools where you need to build. I went to Tulsa and it was, you know, they had the largest turnaround the year before I got there. Then we won a conference championship in my second year there. So it's, it's about building um, young people and building a program and then obviously for me, it's, it's relationships and building young people to be better young men, husbands and fathers, and, and you know, uh, incredible members of, of today's society. You see that amongst the staff, and you see that amongst the players, as far as the, the, the commonalities, the, the vision, the purpose, and the, the, the fact that they care for one another and they truly take care of one another, whether it's in the parking lot or whether it's in the building, in the weight room, or the training room, or on the field. Or, you know, if I ask them to pick up the weight room, I mean, everybody helps everybody pick up. I didn't come in the ground floor of this, you know, when they first got here two years ago. We're being able to teach what we want to teach, but the foundation has already been laid by a coach and then throughout his staff and throughout everybody in this building. I mean, everybody has the same vision, the same passion uh, for young people and for the program to be successful. So in simple terms, dealing with the ball putty, I have the foundation of two years. So now I can be on the ground floor of, of what we're going to do down there. We'll change all the little things to make a quarterback better, to make a receiver better, to make a DB better, to make a lineman better. There are specific things you need to do for each individual group, but the game is a violent game and you need to protect yourself. It's a game of speed, being phys physically dominant. We're very ground-based, so we're big power clean, uh, squat and bench and all that stuff, and we'll throw all the intangibles of bands and chains and all those things that go into that, but physics are physics. You want to run fast and jump far. Those things are basically ground-based movements. The more force you put in the ground, the faster you're going to run. The higher you're going to jump, and the further you're going to jump. And then we get into our post work, which is very specific by position. I tell recruits all the time, it's a, it's a big rock. Then we break it down into the pebble being you as an individual. My staff should be exhausted by the end of the day because we're pouring into these kids so much. If you're not, you're cheating the individual. You're cheating the player. I expect nothing but excellent. You can accept the worst in people or accept the best. I expect you to accept the best. I expect you to raise your teammate up as they raise you up. So un uncompromised excellence is perfect for what I believe in because you, you can give your best every day. You control your attitude and your effort. It takes no effort to do that. You know, to be average is simple. Just roll out of bed. But that's not what they signed up for. Not academically, not socially, not in the community, not on the field. So that's our job to continue to push the limits of you know, what they can do as far as being excellent. Great work.